Well, here's a 1941 Speedex Model B tractor that I brought home yesterday. This, uh, I turned the gas off, so it's gonna, it's gonna die out here in a minute or so. Um, brought this tractor home yesterday, and it had been sitting in a shed for who knows how long. Uh, a few years ago, I helped the previous owner out and put a new coil in the engine, and uh, he got it going and had it out probably once, put a new tire on the back, and it's been setting ever since, and he's getting up there in years and said he's not going to use the tractor anymore, so he told me to come and get it. And I went and got it yesterday, and of course there was no spark. Pulled the shroud off, there was mouse nest everywhere, and you know, the usual cleaning the points, blowing all the mouse nest out, and uh, we had spark. Uh, carburetor had issues, it was running rich, and the float was leaking, and uh, pulled the carburetor off tonight, and um, discovered that somebody tried to remove the high-speed jet and chewed it all to hell and, and I couldn't get it out. I don't think they even got it out and they ended up forcibly prying the two halves of the car apart, which is possible. Not the way it's supposed to be done, but can be done. And I had another carb laying here, so got the top of the original carb and the bottom of a different one with a good jet in it. And uh, she purrs like a kitten now. So, got a ZZ Briggs. Uh, serial number dates it to 1941. The uh, belt shrouds on all these Model Bs normally have the date cast right in them. 1941. From what I've read, uh, 1941 was the first year for the upgraded ZZ Briggs at six horsepower. Previously, it was five horse. Uh, ZH uh, for a while there. Um, this tractor actually has some original stenciling on the wheel, and it says. Pond Garage, Ravenna, Ohio. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, like I said, this tire's been replaced. And got one newer tire on the front also. This tire here was flat when I got it, but it aired up. So far, it's holding together. Um, belt seemed to be all right in that cover there. Uh, all the gearing works good. Leaks oil out all over the place, but at least it's got oil in it. And I just ran the plow through the ground. Got it scoured up a little bit. It had grease on it. And uh, I figure this is the original plow. Kind of looks homemade, but a lot of Speedex stuff does look that way. I also got a set of double discs with it and the cultivator. Uh, I might make videos in the future uh, using each implement. So, but this is a uh, tiller steer. Kind of not your normal thing. Pull the lever back and forth, steer it. Very simple, easy to manufacture. Um, got a Model T Ford differential right there and from what I've read the uh, transmission is a Model A Ford transmission um, I also have a another tractor that's similar to this called a Wilmac that uh, was made in Canada and it either has connections to Speedex 
or the engineers that built the Wilmac uh, closely copied the Speed X because there are many, many uncanny similarities that don't just happen by coincidence. So, but uh, here's some of the ground I plowed up. A little dry. Kind of hard to do a nice job when it's so dry. But if that plow sucks down in the ground, it just governor kicks in and it pulls it right through. Very powerful. So there it is, 1941 Speed X Model B. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.